Welcome to my beautiful apartment at 1019 Dana Avenue. And welcome to my apartment. Welcome everybody and to my humble abode. There's a few things that I wanted to show you around here. So I have this wonderful couch that is so nice. This is a spot where I generally chill out. I'll read my books. I'll drink a cup of coffee here in the morning. Just kind of very zen over here. And as we move on, I have my desk. This is my little academic sanctuary. I absolutely adore it. I think it's really important to implement organization into areas like this, where this makes it feel more like school is a job, in which it is. It's my full-time gig for now. Over here, we have the best bed in the world, the comfiest. If you can't tell, I'm a big fan of pillows. And then over here, these are all my friends and all my family and places I love and songs that remind me of them. And to my kitchen, I love it in here. I'm not necessarily the best cook, but that you know, this is the perfect size for me. And I, over here, I have more things that I love right next to obviously the most important centerpiece of my entire apartment, my beautiful, wonderful coffee bar. I would say I really do love living in an individual unit. I think a big part of college is that we're all told like, oh, we're always gonna have roommates. But I do think people, especially like me, work a lot better alone. I can stay a lot more organized on top of everything. I really, really have appreciated this in my upperclassmen years to be able to live by myself in this environment. I love this space for so many reasons. First of all, it's so big. I mean, really quick access to campus and everything. It is less than a 10 minute walk, which is really nice. But it's also like, I feel like a little bit separated from campus. So I can definitely make this place a lot more of my sanctuary than like the library feel that dorms can give you on campus. If you, doesn't matter what year you are in college, if you're in college, you need to stay on top of schedules to do lists and overall just like knowing when everything is and that has brought me the most mental peace. And then another thing I would recommend for somebody that you don't really think you need is a personal book. You need some type of book that can bring you peace and oftentimes you hear people say that they don't have enough time to read but when you find time to read you find time for yourself. The advice I would give to somebody whose first year is living alone is to really Cultivate your space into something that you really enjoy and represents a lot of you and really keeping this place safe and special and like a sanctuary. It seems scary at first and maybe the first few nights might be a little bit more scary to go to bed, but honestly, it would be something you would appreciate so much more in the long run.